Okay, so we're doing another branch analysis. And as you can see, I already gave you reactants. So just add your angles. We have an angle of negative 90 for a capacitor and an angle of positive 90 for an inductor. How many unknowns do we have here? So we have this one, that's one. This is not in series with this, so that's another one. This one's not in series, but these two are in series. So we actually have this one I1 plus to minus, I2 plus to minus, I3 plus to minus, and this would be I4 because they're in series. And what are we solving for when we're solving for branch current? So they would have the same current. There's four unknowns. We need four equations. Okay, so we're going to start here and go this way, and we're going to write everything down here and then fix the equation for one. We're going to start here, go this way, writing everything down for the second equation. Start here, go all the way around to write the third equation. Let's put these signs here. Okay, but then we're going to be missing one equation, so we're going to have to write a KCL, but we'll get there. So we're going to go around here. We're entering the positive 10 at 0. We go around negative 6k, i2. Keep on going. Negative 250. 250 at negative 90, i1. Then we're back here equals 0. So now we got to fix it up. I1, I2, I3, I4. So we have negative 250 at an angle. Oops. Negative 90. I1 minus 6K. I2. We didn't pass 3 and 4. So we're going to put our placeholder 0, I3 plus 0, I4. We have a voltage here, it was positive, so on the other side of the equation, it must be negative, equals negative. Open parentheses and a zero. So that is our first equation. Bam. Okay, then we're gonna start here, and we're gonna go around writing everything down. So we have 250 at an angle of negative 90, I1, plus, 20 at 0 minus 5k i3 and now we're back here so we set it to 0 we have i1 and 3 so we need 2 and 4 are going to be 0 so we have a positive 250 at negative 90 i1 plus 0 i2 I3 is here, minus 5K I3 plus 0 I4 equals, because this voltage has to go to the other side, it becomes negative 20 at 0. That's our second equation. Third equation, we're going to start here, go around this way, okay? So we have 6KI2, and we're entering the positive side, right? Plus 950 at 90I4, plus 250 ohms I4, minus 20 at zero. And now we're back here, so we set it to zero. Now we fix it up. We have I2 and I4. So we're going to have 0 I1 plus 6K I2 plus 0 I3 plus, because there's two terms, we're just going to put both of them in the parentheses, 
950 at an angle of 90 plus 250i4 equals this negative 20 has to go to this side, so it's 20 at 0. That's our third equation. Okay, so where should we do our KVO? Well, at this spot, we have I2 entering and I4 leaving. This spot, we have I2 entering, I mean, I1 entering and I2 leaving. This spot, we got I1 and I3 leaving and nothing entering. So really, we can do it at any spot. Let's do it here. We'll do it right there. KCL. And we always do leaving equals entering. So leaving this dot is I2. Entering this dot is I1. So if we just flip it, we have I1 equals I2, right? We don't have to change any signs yet. This has to go to that side, so our final equation will be I1 minus I2 plus 0 I3 plus 0 I4 equals 0. That's our fourth equation, okay? Okay, good luck.